Hello and good morning. My name is Shauna Stevens. I'm with EPA Region 3 and I will be introducing the three case study breakout sessions that we have for you today. The first case study is a Hauserville Stream Restoration Project with Adam Smith from the Fish and Wildlife Service and Bob Bjork with Spring Creek Trout Unlimited. This is featuring three recently completed projects in Hauserville College Township. There will be a funding sources discussion that will be included in addition to before and after photos and a short discussion of the MS4 credit process. And it will conclude with three significant lessons learned over the years. The next case study is a stream and floodplain restoration with Laurel Oswald from Dover Township and Reed Gardner from Land Studies. An overview will be provided of the concepts behind legacy sediments and floodplain restoration the diverse and extensive benefits floodplain restoration offers will be discussed, including stormwater management, flood mitigation, ecological uplift, and cost-effective pollutant load reductions. Also discussed will be how floodplain restoration may benefit your community and its steps in how to start planning. And finally, we have Shallow Brook Elementary School Riparian Buffer with Ryan Davis for the Alliance of Chesapeake Bay and Jody Sulpizio with Penn State Extension. This is nearly 20 acres of riparian forest buffer being, being established on school grounds in York County. The project is a partnership between Penn State Extension Master Watershed Stewards and Alliance for Chesapeake Bay. A large amount of the, the CAPS urban riparian forest buffer acreage goals will be met through this project. And it is an excellent example of how similar projects can be implemented by local partners elsewhere in York County and beyond. Here are some additional resources for you to check out after today's forum. If you go to the agenda on the bottom of the page, the training resources link, you can see the case studies from the February 2021 forum. And we have some, uh, there are some upcoming events. There's a webinar for the classic tool for stormwater and green infrastructure costs and benefits on May 26. And there's a link if you would like some more information for that. And there is a Pennsylvania Water Environment Association webinar for stream restorations, city to pasture to suburbs, Wednesday, May 12th, 2021. And there is a link for that if you'd like some more information. So um, and now please go back to your agenda and pick out a case study of your choice through clicking the link in the titles from the agenda webpage. Also, to get to the breakout sessions, please leave this meeting and enter the breakout sessions. You may have some technical difficulties if you have two more than one window open in Teams. If you're having technical difficulties, just let us know. Um, once uh, the breakout sessions uh, are end, we will reconvene uh, for the next um, plenary session. Thanks.